be a video of a lesson called an outdoor collage. Okay, collage is when you glue stuff together um, that you find. And outdoors just gives you a chance for us here too, to go out of the building, hunt around, find some natural things and glue them together, take our masks off, okay? Um, what you're gonna want is a piece of cardboard, okay? Could be a piece, could be a brown paper bag from a grocery store, okay? You wanna take Elmer's glue, okay? If you have a little bottle, it's fine. You want to pour it in something, right? And maybe you have a brush. But watch, you important to add, add about a half, add some water to it so it's a little thinner. Okay, so it'll spread. We're gonna brush this whole cardboard with glue. I'm gonna even put a little more glue in there. Okay. So again, this is the outdoor collage. And oh, this is important, if you do not, have a brush. If you say, Mr. Rose, I can't get a good brush. Watch this. I know everybody can get some cardboard. You know, you could. I gotta stir that a little more. Imagine if you just poured some on here. And you could just spread it with a piece of cardboard, right? Just a little, like a squeegee, okay? You wanna get that all over there. So there's no excuse. I don't wanna hear that you didn't have a big brush. But you can get these big brushes, by the way, like at Home Depot or Lowe's, they're one dollar, 99 cents. It's called a chip brush, it's in the paint aisle, okay? You wanna get it on there nice and thick. There, and what did we gather? I got these this morning. There's some really great stuff around the BOCES campus. Um, some big weeds and plants. Uh, this one's tough as leather. Cut that. I'm just gonna start sticking leaves down. I'm not. I don't even care like what the pattern is right now because I'm gonna build up a few layers of this stuff. And the one of the important tricks is. Ooh, I love this stuff. This stuff has like seed pods in it, and you can glue them on. Look at this. A whole branch here. I really love this thing. I do not know what this is, but it's fabulous. Lay it down there. Now the trick is if you want everything to stay green and not turn dead, you gotta totally encase it with the glue. So what do I mean? It means we gotta go completely over it with this. So watch, I'm literally gonna hold this down. Now again, if you don't have a brush, you could just be pouring this on there. If you seal the plant up, it can't decay anymore. Okay, it'll be like sealed in glue and it won't change color. I'm really gonna really bury these things. That's why I like to add water so you don't use, you know, it gets in all the nooks and crannies and everything. Oh, that moved on me a little bit. And even, because I just brushed that on, I'm gonna add a few more things. I got a nice glue. So I'm gonna brush some more on again so it doesn't turn all brown. I love the color of that flower, the purple, so I'm gonna cover it. And then, so imagine you let that dry overnight. I can see it needs some more in here. When it's nice and hard, you can do another layer and you can even come back at it with paint. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple of finished ones now. I actually used a hot glue gun if you have one to put a piece of thorn on here. This is a caution tape we found outside near a, a hole in the uh, parking lot. It's a piece of rubber from outside. These are actual berries that were on a tree. So you can find a lot of different things. And then we went back at it with paint. And I'll show you what I mean about, by paint. And here's one, I'll show you this one quick. This is one that a student made in my class. I think it came out really neat and interesting. Okay. Let me show you how you could go at it. If, you, if you're lucky to have some paint at home, you can get acrylic paints that's pretty cheap at Michael's, the art supply, or Hobby Lobby, okay? And of course, Amazon. I mean, for like 
ten dollars you can get a set of acrylic paints but all you got to do is take some paint and then you know create some shadows put some blackness in there and then you start painting on your collage okay you can paint on the branch a little bit why not okay so by the, you should probably work on this for like two or three different times the first time gather your stuff second time you know paint it all up let it sit overnight and then paint on it okay so that is your outdoor collage that's it thanks